Into night two we go. Oh my gosh, really? Runners? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> the twisted this early is uh, is always exciting to see. Um, Having to transfer this far over is also a little bit, uh, spooky. Okay, all good. This guy will get taken care of by the ballistas for sure. to think how do I want to if I move over to like here if I get vision on that guy which I can't um hmm good shot We'll do that, and I think I am going to take this out, just so we can hopefully see a bit better what's going on. Should have probably used Contamination there. Great Propagate. We're going to need to hit these guys with the root, just so that we have time. To take care of the twisted. God, that potion of man is only two. Brutal. I'm gonna do this. This gives us a lot less surface area for attack, so we'll do that. About to finish Elder Licks, finally. Ah, amazing field team. Feels good, doesn't it? Another freaking. Twisted? Love me the, the just endless pile of twisted. Grumble, grumble. Alright, let's make sure that we can finish this twisted off. Are you serious right now about this miss sensor? Hmm, that's awkward. Okay, let me come back to that. We're probably going to have to pull one of these two off to... Uh, Oh, I hate that not being quite done. <laughs> oh boy. The twisted always give you give you a little bit of heartburn. Okay, so that was not quite as much as I wanted to do there. And I think I need to start retreating a bit. So we'll have to wait and see. Now this is this is the one that's really awkward. So I think I need I do need to take this out because I don't want to get too close to this twisted. All right, once the Twisted is gone, everything else is gravy. Now we're gonna have, we're gonna have runner problems over here. I'm hoping that we have enough Ballista to clean them out. Chat from YouTube has uh, has pooped out. 
Thank you, Jarvis, for letting me know. Uh, let's see. Why? Oh, why? It looks like... I think I, I have fixed it, if someone would be so kind as to check. Yep, I see your message, APOC. Looks good to me. Thank you for uh, for all the checks. Zaycare, Pit Viper, Zephyr, you're all gentlemen and scholars and or gentle women. All right. Oh my gosh, the the immune at is perfectly timed. All right, we, we should be able to take care of this though, no problem. Okay. Yeah, that plus four spear is doing doing work for sure. Okay, we got time on that side. So I think I'm just gonna shore this up over here. The twisted are very spooky. There is uh, there is no way around it. That's a, that's actually a pretty nice, pretty nice snare there. Okay, I'm gonna do that, but I I think I am gonna come defend this corner a little bit more. Now over here. Poison is working. We're we're definitely spending a little aggressively. Mana wise. I think we're I think we're in decent shape. Do I find Epidemic to really be useful on poison builds? I tried most of your builds and love them, but I haven't had as much success with Epidemic versus Contagion. So Contagion is definitely better uh, if, if you have the option of both stories, but I think Epidemic is really, is really strong in the right circumstances. Uh, and when you're, when you're primarily doing Druid Staff type stuff, I think that's when it really, uh, it really comes in into its own. I think I think it is safe for me just to do the runaway here. Oh, you're you're the poison one. I thought you were I thought you were the pistol one. I think I, I swapped the wrong ones. Uh, don't don't tell anyone. Okay, this will we're gonna do this for for defensive purposes and then we have some time so I think let's get rid of this one. Is there any other weapon other than the tome that actually debuffs resistance? Not that I know of. Oh, let's 
let's see. Mostly just given my bees time to work its magic, as it were. This bees has the potential to go back backwards, which would be really nice, but it also has the potential to repoison a bunch of things. Let's risk that risk it that hope it goes right. Alright, well, those were still enemies that we had to eventually do damage to. So I'm not I'm not completely despondent about that. Our poison user up top there though is gonna is gonna struggle a bit. I fear. Do love me some dagger action from time to time. I'm going a little deep here, but I think I have what it takes. To clean this up. Yeah. I don't think anybody's making it to us. Beautiful. Good job, team. We are... This, this side is feeling a little rough. We definitely need warp gates next time. That's my, uh, my commitment. Gonna try and blow up this, uh, this archer on the side here. Ooh. Very disappointing. Uh, result there. Okay, so what's what's our plan here? You're we got we got problems Okay These guys are still marching in I think we're gonna take some ballista damage which I'm not super psyched about but We got a little lucky there, I think. This knight is proving tenacious. All right, so this should take out these guys. Ooh, it did not. Concerned about this runner. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, though. Can I get a shot off on you? I cannot. Well, if I run, I can. That's probably unnecessary. We have two action points left. Oh, with only one action point left. I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't quite get back to... Can't quite get back to them. So that's going to be what it is. We'll, uh, we'll try and take them out. Hello, Olive. How are you doing, sweet girl? My, my pupper just woke up. Oh yeah, the alt button. The alt button is big. <laughs> Let's see. So okay. Okay, that's that's enough for this side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to here and get rid of them. Now over here, I'm trying to decide. I think I I think I body block here. Mm, that might be a little risky. 
We're going to have a lot of problems over there for sure, but... Yes, realization. Alt button is the uh, is how you check to see the radius. It's uh, it's kind of muscle memory for me at this point, so I, I sometimes forget to mention it. But it is uh, it is a wise move to to always be checking your uh, your alt. Yeah, I, so Iron Oath, I, I played the demo way back, but I, I haven't taken a look at it in a while. Now, this is where... All right, we may just end up losing some ballistas up here. I'm not, I'm not pleased about it, but... Okay, no ballistas lost. That's good. But we are going to need to... We're going to... This is going to get real bad real fast if we're not hard, if we're not careful. get you and you um okay so i think we have to commit to that okay so you you can definitely transfer over we can let's take this guy out here Wow, that really caused that much city panic that we're already... Oh, I haven't forgotten it, realization. I, uh, I see it. I'm, uh, I'm taking it out with, uh, with this guy here is my plan. Because I'm transferring this guy here up over this way to, uh, to do the work here. So the plan is to come over this way. And then we're gonna use run to get here. And then we can get in here and help. See, not forgotten. I'm gonna try and distract this guy and this guy by taking some hits over here with our poison person. All right, so let's see. So let's get, start with this. Slow these guys down over here. Where do you? Yeah, we're not quite going to get as much work as I wanted to get done over here, but... That's the best turn I think we could have, all things considered. We will lose at least one Ballista, I think. Yeah, we lost one Ballista. That's okay. That's not the end of the world. Okay. 
We're very, very low on mana, for sure. Archers are really annoying. Uh, don't let don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Jeez, that was that was underwhelming. All right, so now we have some now we have some very difficult things to deal with over here. And keep slowing down this pack here. Because I think that's these two, I hope, are reasonably dead, but we're probably gonna take another another couple of ballista hits, unfortunately. And then I think. Alright. Good stuff. Okay, we love that guy getting hit. That means that means one ballista was our casualty, which I'm I'm okay with. Well, assuming assuming I don't uh, duff it and fail to get the uh, requisite kills here. Good over there. Three left, they're all over here. They archers really uh they sneak up on you a lot, no no doubt about it. Just like in real life, indeed. All right, we're going to need to, uh... Ooh, Matthew not getting level 5 hurts a little bit there. This is a boss wave, if I recall correctly. We got at least two mountains out of the out of it, which just feels pretty good. I want the seer operational. Need that need that breathing room, you know. Let me do repairs before I forget. Oh, one of our buildings got hit. Yeah, this runner did do did do some work on us, didn't they? Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Propagation bounces is a lock. I'd love some more crit over here, but Glass cannon is a little risky at this moment. I'm going to take first blood first, I think. We're at plus 45% damage. I think initiator is probably worth picking up here. Okay, show me poison. There it is. I'm going to take isolation over crit power here. Take accuracy and I will take damage.
I think I like Leapfrog here. All things being equal. And Runic Gift is unfortunately not valuable, but Thrifty is good. Now, we do need a Mana Well. In fact, we probably need two Mana Wells. Well, we might be able to get away with one this turn. Don't upgrade that one. <laughs> upgrade this one. There we go. Second mana well looks really good right now. Having mana going into the next night is probably the most valuable gift that we can give ourselves because the bosses are going to be a pain. We don't have great boss killing right now. Beautiful momentum get there. Nice momentum get there. That helps out a lot with the boss killing. I think we just need more movement here. How do you deal with the boss weapon that has super high resistance and can't be debuffed? Uh, so I've never found its resistance to be particularly problematic. But... Uh, But yeah, that's an interesting an interesting question. I think I'm going to pick up Mark here. And then Relentless looks good. Okay, show me Poison. Propagation Bounces, also good. Ah, we only got the one level up here. So that was a bit unfortunate. Ah, it's because I didn't take Avid Learner because I got greedy. Okay, well... I'd be excited for the staff, if not for the fact that we don't need it. The That chest piece I can possibly make work. The obsidian armor is looking pretty nice, too. That helm is decent, but not great. Kinda, kinda bad rewards, if I'm being honest. Yes, magic damage does deal with resistance. It, it halves your resistance. Um, or halves the resistance of the enemies, excuse me. We're almost to the point where we can upgrade both of these and get two more corpse piles. I wouldn't be too mad at that possibility. I did say I wanted warp gates. So let's get those before I forget. We will need them. It feels a little bad to pick them up, but... I just reroll items straight up. Never thought about looking at the list of rewards. Oh, it's it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I'm gonna grab the turtle charm here. A little more poison propagation. I think I just like the crit here. It's good enough. Sad, sadly, that I don't think is worth picking up. That helm. The offhand scepter is interesting here. I just don't think it's necessarily worth it. I'm going to grab the helm just because. Oof. Well, yeah, no. Pretty much, well, the Worn Greaves are, are passable for a little bit of crit damage. Could just take this for the 21 cell, but I think I'll roll it once. Got a second spear. Sledgehammer and a crossbow. Is there anyone that I could use the sledge on? Hard to hard to say. Sells for 25. I'm just gonna take it. 30 poison. Interesting. 
Yes, I, I will do that, Zine. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, what did we actually pick up here that I care for? Wanda, you're getting that. I can toss that there. I'd love to replace this. <laughs> um, for the time being, I may put this... Uh, the, the rifle is probably better. This we're going to sell. Uh, our hand crossbow person is going to get some crit-related gear. Our momentum person gets the movement hat. I, mean, I think all these get sold. And I think I'm going to salvage two more corpse piles. We do have a druid staff three. I, I don't actually think I can say no to that. I think that's too important. Oh, man. So many good items in the shop here. It hurts a little bit, but I think we need the druid staff three. And that, that limits our options pretty substantially. But we... This is a much better combo for us. Yeah, and then I think I can do... I'm one gold short of... One gold short of another uh, another salvage, so I am going to do that. Whoops. We're rolling the dice on these corpse piles, hoping for good things. None of these are particularly good things. Do I even have anyone that is not trinketed up at the moment? Nah, my trinkets are pretty good. I don't like the minus one movement here on this, so I think I'm going to take the cracked crystal, but... No one's really rolling an opportunism build, so I'm going to sell the hunterscape. This is going to be a rough night, for sure. Okay, let's see. Destroy. 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 Ah, oh, that one was outside. Unfortunate. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay, so let's see. So Druid Staff is going over here. Druid Staff is going over here. Can you not? Is there no pathway through here? This is this is awkward. <laughs> this this rubble is randomly generated, and it can create a situation where there's actually no way through. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Scar, we recently found out that enemies attacking corpse piles inside your base, uh, very, very bad for business. Let's see. So there's no way that enemies can pass through here. So this is kind of like a safe little corner. It's interesting. You can jump over here if you need to. This is going to be very awkward. Um, the The way that these these ruins have generated is very uh, very awkward. But I think uh, I think we're good to go. I think if they cause damage to anything, even ruins or barricades inside the base, it causes panic. Yes, that's correct. Field. Uh, we didn't think necessarily corpse piles. We assumed like watching a zombie punch a corpse pile outside your window wouldn't cause too many problems, but uh, we were incorrect. Okay, well. Night number three.